Hello everybody. In this video, what we're going to be doing is quickly showing you probably the easiest way that you could go ahead and get started with Docker. The methods that we're going to use, we're not even going to need to open up the terminal and do anything in CLI. This method is good because it will give us an introduction to what containers are without having to do too much legwork at all. And we're going to do this with the help of today's sponsor, Linode. You don't necessarily need to use Linode. You could do basically everything we're doing without it. You will just have to do a couple more commands. It will be a little bit more complicated. If you do plan on doing this locally, one of the easiest ways is going to be by installing Ubuntu server. I have a separate video on how to do that. And then during the installation process, you could just enable the Docker snap package to install, and then you'll be able to use what we're using from there. So, on the node, go ahead, use the link in the description to get your $100 60 day credit. And then let's go ahead and log on in. Now, if you do plan on not using Linode for this, I'm gonna go ahead and leave all the different commands and uh, different referrals and guides down in the description below. And you'll see what I mean with how easy this is on the node. All we're gonna to need to do is head over to the marketplace, scroll down, and we're gonna be using a piece of software called Yacht. Uh, this is currently alpha software, but it works really well for me. It's not recommended in production use, but for what we're using it for, just kind of dipping our toes in the water with Docker, it is a fantastic tool. If you are looking for a piece of software that's a little bit more production ready, I'd recommend Protainer. This is uh, much more developed, has a, uh, a lot more features and things. So if you're looking for actual production things, things you want to host to the web, I would recommend this over Yacht, but again, Yacht is gonna be perfect for our needs. Here, we're gonna go ahead and set up our password. I'm gonna make it fairly simple. And then here, go ahead and type in your email address. For Yacht Compose support, we're gonna keep that as yes. We're gonna go with the default theme. Images, we're gonna to want to go with the latest version of Debian 10. If you're not doing this on Linode, you could do this on Ubuntu server. Basically, anything that you can install Docker on. Uh, for region, just select the servers that are closest to you. And we're going to go ahead and go with shared CPU. Now the plans start at $5 a month. Again, if you use that credit, it's going to be free for those 60 days. If you go with a plan that's less than the credit <laughs> for this, I'm going to go with the cheapest one, which is the Nanode one gigabyte. You could always upgrade if you end up using this on a uh, more regular basis for the late label. I am just going to call it yacht tut for now. And then we want to set up our root password. So make sure it's something super strong and secure. If you're going to be using this more frequently, you might want to look into adding an SSH key. But for now, all this is looking good. So we just need to hit create Linode. And what this is going to do is install Debian server for us. It's going to go ahead and install Docker and all of its dependencies. And then it's going to go ahead and grab the Yacht container and publish it. And if you do kind of want to watch what it's doing, you could always open up this Lish console right here so you can monitor the installation process, and you'll be able to see here exactly when it is done and ready for you to log into Yacht. While we do wait for this, you can see Yacht right here. It is a container management UI with a focus on templates and one-click deployments. If we go under the documentation here, you could see the different templates. Under installation, again, if you're doing this on your own server, you just go under install yacht, and once you have Docker and all that installed, you just run this command. It's really easy to do. And of course, you could do this via Docker Compose in the Docker Compose YML if you would like to. So let's check up on this here. We have the Debian login, so it should be good to go. And we're not going to do anything in CLI, like I said earlier. We're going to want to go back to our Linode dashboard here. And I'm just going to want to copy this IP address, so give that a copy. I'm going to go ahead and paste it over here. And we're going to want to travel to the port 8000 here. It's going to take us to our yacht portal. We're just going to want to type in the email address that we inputted earlier, as well as the password. So log in. And here we are. This is our yacht dashboard with our current containers. Now, right here, we only have one yacht itself is the only container running. And overall, this is a beautiful UI. We can see the amount of CPU usage this specific container is using and the memory usage. So by default, with this just base install, it's using just about 80 megabytes of RAM. Now, this isn't it. If we go over here, we have applications, templates, projects, resources, and settings. Under resources, we can see all the different images, volumes, and networks that we have available. But just to show you how easy it is to launch a container with this, we're going to go ahead and go under uh, not applications. We're going to go under templates 
And under templates, this is going to be kind of a library of all the different things that we could go ahead and install through this. Now they recommend doing a self-hosted pro. Um, you, you can install any type of Docker container. You're not just limited to what we have here, but this is gonna give us a nice list of things to go ahead and get started with. So I'm gonna call this self-hosted pro. Go ahead and submit. And then we have the self-hosted pro template there. If I go ahead and give that a click, you're gonna see all the different services that we have available to us for an easy um, kind of one-click deploy here. Now, an example of something that we could deploy real quick is Homer. So I can view it to view some more information. I could go over to the actual uh, Docker Hub repository here. So we can see here, it is a simple static homepage for your server services. So instead of having to manage bookmarks or anything, you could have this running separately and uh, link to this. It, it's a pretty cool thing. I'm gonna be talking more about services like this and my little uh, home lab behind me in a future video. So do make sure you're subscribed for that. So from here, what we're gonna to want to do is go down and click on deploy. Here, we could change the name. We have the image, which you can see was the Docker Hub location right here. We have the restart policy. So this was like, if your server restarts, what's gonna happen? On failure, you could have none, always. I'm gonna do, or keep it as the default, which is unless stopped. From here, we could continue. Uh, one thing you're going to want to make sure you bridge your networks so it actually will connect properly. We have the label here, which I'm just going to keep at web UI. And then we have our host and our container ports. So from there, let's just go continue. And these are our volumes. This is where all the data is going to be stored. So here under config, we have Homer assets. That's where that's going to be stored. Container, we have our container assets and our config YML. Generally, you can keep all this where it's at. And this is really nice because for example, if we go over to the Docker Hub Homer page, there's a little bit of work that you have to do that makes it slightly difficult if you're just getting into Docker and you just wanna fire up one of these right away and start start playing with it. And how Yacht automatically organizes all your volumes and everything is fantastic. There will be some situations that you'll occasionally need to set up your own. Uh, example, that would be Jellyfin setting up media directories and stuff like that. But for here, we can continue. We're not gonna have any additional environmental variables for now, but if you do want to add them, you just hit the plus here and then you have your values and all that. So deploy, it's gonna go ahead and deploy. We got the little progress bar. So now we have deployed a container of Homer just like that. The page we landed on is our apps page. So if we go over to the sidebar here, we're under applications and you can see we have Homer and Yacht. And here are the images, here's the dates created, and here is the active status. Now for Homer, if I just go ahead and click on the web UI here, it's gonna take us to our hosted instance of Homer. And I would want to go ahead and change this and configure it. For that, I would need to use the uh, CLI and uh, go edit some configuration files. And you can actually see where all that is stored. If we go under storage, we have the config YML, and this will give you all the different locations of those specific files that you can go ahead and edit. So really easy to launch containers and services through this. Here is where we have all of our different images. You can see some of the ones that we added through the template there. If you'd like to go ahead and add your own, you could always hit plus and pull an image this way. But if you do pull an image, you're gonna have to kind of manually configure it like you would if you're using CLI when you go ahead go over to applications and create a new one without using a template. Uh, if we go down here to volumes, we can add and remove volumes. So if there was a application or container that required uh, your own custom volume, you could go ahead and create them through here. And then of course we have networks and we have the information on our networks. We're currently only using bridge. And of course we have settings so you can import and export your data. You can change your theming and colors. You have your template variables here. So this is one that you'd want to use or specifically add additional variables. If you're doing something like Jellyfin and you wanted to add a custom location for explanation point movies, and then you would add the uh, variable here or the specific variable here. So Yacht is a super cool tool and setting it up with Linode, as you saw, was quite easy. I highly recommend Linode. I use them for Tekka.tv and they have wonderful customer support. Anytime I've ever used them or had to contact customer support, I've had 
no issues at all. And again, they're sponsoring today's video. If you use the link in the description, you'll get a $100 60 day credit, easy to deploy or one click deploy services, just like we did through here. They are awesome. And coming soon, I'll have a yacht video on their channel. So do go make sure you check out that video or subscribe so you don't miss it when it comes out. And I'll link down below to some other Linode videos that will kind of better cover Docker in general than I did here today. Uh, with all that, I'd like to thank our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. You guys are absolutely fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough of Yacht on Linode. Uh, with all that, have a beautiful day and goodbye.